lots of reasons why people might want to reorganise their business and do a re reorganisation. Lots of family businesses have multi-generations involved and they may want to plan for the future, succession planning. They may want to separate the business into different parts so that they can independently run those as separate businesses, separate family members. Other reasons that companies may want to reorganise include if there's been a death of a shareholder or if uh, wanting to incentivise employees, wanting to put in holding companies or remove subsidiaries or even if there's a litigation situation and it helps to settle the arrangements of the company going forwards. And of course you may need to restructure if you're wanting to sell the business or one of the companies within it. Some of the legal steps that could be involved in a group reorganisation include a distribution of shares or assets or a demerger, capital reduction or a subdivision of the shares. For family businesses who decide to reorganise their companies, it's not something that they would generally do every day and it can feel daunting. There are lots of different objectives that different family members may have and there can also be different family dynamics and sensitivities. So it's really important to work with somebody who understands all of those things and can guide them through the process. Mm -hmm.